with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set to go, Young Way Koo ready to do the honors. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. In motion left is Rice. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. But it's going to be second down. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Rice will go in motion left. Back to throw, Fields. Randy Moss complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And they'll send the slot in motion left. On first down, Fields. Open the man here is Foster. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On the ground, this is Derek Henry. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. A run for the four-time 1,000-yard man, Arian Foster. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields, flush to his right. That'll be caught by Rice. Touchdown! Jerry Rice. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. 
Moody good with the extra point. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And the Falcons going to use another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They run on first down with Jackson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. From the 50, here's Fields. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 26. To throw his Fields. Finding Pickens for another catch. Escapes the defender. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A big play there on the catch and run. And it'll move the chains. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Jackson will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Scored 7 7 here as the kicks away. Now Hester will get a shot. Returnable here for Hester. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Out play action, Fields. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. He's got an open man. It's Foster. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? They'll send Rice in motion. On fourth down, Fields. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. Boy, a curious 
decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. On first down, it's Fields. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. A play fake, now fields to throw. Right side, that's complete to Gronkowski. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Brock's first catch, good for a first down. Seven seven, our score after one. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. Here we go. Good. Go. Now a handoff inside. It's Jackson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Defense really sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here and a flip right over the top? Second down, another carry for Jackson. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They run again with Jackson. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. Easy, easy, easy. They snap it to Fields. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And the Falcons are going to get the ball back on the turnover. They hold on fourth and goal. The drive will start with Arian Foster. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's going to be out of bounds up past the five. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Fields. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part to get them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to pump this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Up the middle they go with a big back, Jackson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now a give, this is Bo running left. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. They need 12 here. It's third down. Now a give, it's Jackson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. 
They'll try and run for it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A gain of four yards. And the Baltimore first down. Here we go. First down. Hey, 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 hey. Six yard line. Press. Much right. Here's Fields. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. First and goal, Foster. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Arian Foster, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily when you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the... And that's caught inside the 35. They're all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. George Pickens, 76 yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Two able to connect on the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. A shotgun snap, Fields. And he's going to have the connection to Foster. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. A quick throw caught by Rice. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Pulling a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second down, here's Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Henry. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep 
keep the drive alive. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. A couple of first downs on the drive already as he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Here's Fields. He'll buy some time right. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action. It's Fields. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good. Oh, Fields is intercepted for a third time. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Now Moody for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. At their own 24-yard line. Go, the Mike. Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's only... It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 55 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. It's you. From the gun, here's Fields. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Flushed out right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now it's Fields. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Randy Moss, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And we are tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Pass at 20 for a short gain, second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's second and seven. That one caught by Rice. And he's got it past 
the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. There goes Jerry Rice again, racking up catches and bunches. His 1,549 catches, a whopping 224 more than the next closest guy, the great Tony Gonzalez, a terrific tight end. Sliding out of the pocket. He'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very solid gain of 27. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. First down carry for Foster. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Defensively, the tackle by Cam Chancellor. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. He gets this out to Foster on the right side. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey, and the Ravens are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score and run, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. And they'll fake the handoff, now Fields. He'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here we go. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. You got what? You got a uh, mini base, right? They're going to go. It's Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Big strides. Look at him go. And all the way in for the Ravens. Touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 71 yards. And the Ravens have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. Koo able to connect on the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead. Touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Atlanta offense.
defense out there for their next drive. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. From the 43, here's second down and a yard. They pitch out to Foster, and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, Fields. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Back to the air, Fields on second down. And he comes back with one complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First target, first catch, and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Out of the gun, they hand to Foster. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Fred left side complete to Moss. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Throw it side, completion to Rice. They'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Off the option, here's Henry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. They'll try and punch it in the Foster. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Arian Foster with his second touchdown of the night. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. No gain on the play there, second down. 
tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge, no place to move it inside, and then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense. To throw his fields. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Now Fields. That's complete to Bo Jackson. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Here's third down at five. Here's Fields. Pickens on the slam. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. On the give, here comes Jackson. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. Back to throw, Fields. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Eight, 11, 11, 11. Now Fields. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Falcons are going to have it here at their own 15. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 15-yard line. Here's first down. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Penalties not what they needed here. First and 15. All eyes on fields. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. And they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. That ball caught. It's Rice. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Well, the noise got to be an issue now offensively. Here's third and six. Taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here we go. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. They'll roll him out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. Hey, number Monday, Monday, Monday. Yep. Here's Fields now on second down. Play that second complete to Foster. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. What do you think? Play this safe? Just worry about getting to the team? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's going to change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. This one, an absolute must. It's fourth and four. They're going for it with the option right, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. So it's the Ravens who won the toss. They'll get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And the last time out, they had the good drive going. You get in the red zone. They throw the interception. Not their first pick of the game either. So we'll see if they're more careful, more cautious here on this drive. Yeah, nothing worse than repeat mistakes, right? You end up coughing the ball up. You end up throwing a pick. Everything goes awry. And now, points don't go up on the board. I just heard a fan scream out. I thought the idea was to score points. Yeah, they're getting a little restless, too. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. First throw in overtime by Fields. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Oh, let's go. You got, what? You got a uh, mini Third and long, it's Fields. And he is caught, and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they only need about a half a foot. It's overtime, but they're back in their own territory. And you know those decision makers that are battling inside the head coach's mind right now? One saying, hey, offense is pretty good. Other one saying, no, 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 rely on your defense. That's what you got to decide in this situation. Where do you have the confidence? That determines what you're going to do. And they're going to speed things up here. On first down, it's Fields. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, here's second and six. Off play action, Fields escaping the pressure right. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line 
line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Fields. He's got this to Pickens. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 29-yard line. On the draw, here's Jackson. To about the 26 here. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. Touchdown! It's up and good, and they jump back ahead, 35-28. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. There he goes, left side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield, across the 45 before going out. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here now, second and four. Quick throw going to be caught by Foster. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling is an area one thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you a few bang box there. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That last pass puts him over 300 yards now in the game. More importantly, though, big first down here at OT. And the team around him has a lot of confidence now after picking up that first down. Everyone seems a little more energized. But did I hear you before the game call in and say, this is my quarterback for your fantasy league? Because he just gave you a good stat, didn't he? He did, and I appreciate it. This is second and eight. A shotgun handoff now to Foster. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Field's going to hurry his guys to the line. They keep it on the ground. This time it's him. And he's brought down.
The Falcons are going to leave the offense out there. They'll go for two. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. The Falcons are going to leave the offense out there. They'll go for two. Fields trying to throw for it. Rolling to his right. And he's got it here for the two points, but there is a marker down, so we'll have to see what that's about. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The Falcons are going to leave the offense out there. They'll go for two. And first, we're going to get a timeout as the defense will talk this over. The extra point try now for Moody. And things are getting good now. We're heating up tied at 35. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 41 yard line. Here we go. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. As they watch the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they haven't had a lot of time to pull off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Again, Fields. He's got his target. That's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 31-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They run with Jackson out of the gun, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside, but he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Second down, another carry for Jackson. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On third down, this is Jackson. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Young Way Koo, all eyes fixated on the kicker. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the defense as they'll burn their final one here and let that kicker stay out and think about it a bit more. And he got it. The kick is good. And they have won it here in double overtime. Well, things started off exciting this one. Had a high-scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And, you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that, because so many times we'll see teams come out slow and take a while to get going, and points become a little bit harder to score near the end of games, as we know, because everyone tightens down. 
but no such issues in this game. The scoring started right away and held up at a steady clip the remainder of the game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our